school board members are taking the first steps to improve safety for Hyde Park students. We reported last hour that 75 second graders have to cross a busy, busy road twice a day to get to temporary classrooms. WCPO 9 News reporter Courtney Francisco is live there now. And Courtney, you're hearing from the district tonight. Yeah, Kristen, the district actually created a new safety committee to deal with this issue and they meet tomorrow. Parents are in tears talking about this because the children almost got hit by a car right in this crosswalk. We almost got hit today, so I found out why this is happening. We're scared. They saw the car. They knew it was coming. Scary. A daily walk for 75 second graders almost became deadly outside Hyde Park School last Thursday. The car turned into the kids and a lot of them got pretty scared and were crying. And one had a panic attack, yeah. They were pretty scared. Parents like Kristen Hunter have been begging the school board to do more for at least a month. And learn that the car came this close to hitting my daughter's class of 25 kids. Today, the district announced it will give neon reflective vest and high visibility flags to adults and students. Security guards will help during the lunch hour at 1225, and a committee of parents and district administrators will meet tomorrow to investigate other safety measures. I want to focus on the school expansion. Um, the reason our kids are over here is because we don't have room in our school. The children have class in temporary classrooms across the street due to overcrowding, parents say. I detailed last hour how the little ones cross Edwards Road at Observatory Avenue at 8 a.m. and 1225 p.m. You will see the yellow rope, 25 cross at a time holding hands. Teachers and parents help. When we try, a driver almost hit our photojournalist, and the kids have to do this in the dark during the winter. It's a reminder to all of us that we do need to slow down. Yep. And people fighting for changes out here say the city's going to add horizontal stripes to this crosswalk to make it more visible to drivers. And the district says the school board plans to call on the city to put in place more speed control measures out here. Reporting live in Hyde Park, Courtney Francisco, WCPO 9 News.